Labs are always looking to improve diagnostic results. Typically, this is accomplished by adopting a new assay that delivers something better, increased sensitivity, faster time to results, or maybe quantitative capabilities. However, one of the easiest yet often overlooked ways to improve a diagnostic result is to properly prepare a specimen before any tests are performed. When it comes to AFB specimens or specimens that will be tested for mycobacteria, specimen preparation is essential. All specimens must be digested and decontaminated before performing smears, cultures, and most molecular tests. Optimizing this process is simple with Emmy's Myco DDR, a reagent set designed specifically to deliver superior results on downstream tests for mycobacteria. Let's take a look at the process in more detail to see how this is accomplished. The first step in the digestion decontamination process is to add a sodium hydroxide NALC solution to the sample. During this stage, the pH is elevated to properly decontaminate the patient's sample by killing off any contaminant bacteria. The second step is to add M15 phosphate buffer in an attempt to neutralize the sample. If a sample is not properly neutralized, then it remains at an elevated pH in the red zone, which is an environment harmful to mycobacteria. As you can see, M15 phosphate buffer does not properly neutralize the sample. The next step is a 20-minute centrifugation. So if the sample is not properly neutralized, then it will be in an environment toxic to mycobacteria for an extended period of time. You are potentially killing off the exact thing you are trying to recover. By the time you resuspend the sample and prepare it for downstream applications, the amount of viable mycobacteria in the sample has been greatly reduced. This can cause an increase in false negatives, an increase in time to culture results, and an increase in having to reprocess samples. Emmy has created a solution for this, MycoDDR. MycoDDR provides a rigid pH control throughout the process, which is essential to recover the maximum amount of viable mycobacteria, which will in turn improve the diagnosis of TB. Let's look at how the MycoDDR maintains rigid pH control throughout the digestion decontamination procedure. Similar to your current procedure, the pH is elevated to properly decontaminate the patient sample. However, the MycoDDR sodium hydroxide NALC reagent A has an integrated blue color-changing pH indicator. This turns the sample blue and will be instrumental during the neutralization stage. The next step is to add the MycoDDR neutralization buffer B, which has an extremely high buffering capacity, much higher compared to M15 phosphate buffer. When adding the neutralization buffer B, the sample will turn clear when it reaches a neutral pH. This empowers labs to rigidly control the pH of a sample with a very simple procedure. As you can see, when the sample turns clear, the pH is in the optimal range for mycobacteria survival. This effective neutralization of samples is where MycoDDR really separates itself from other methods. With MycoDDR, labs don't have to worry about samples being in an environment toxic to mycobacteria throughout the 20-minute centrifugation step, which is where further die-off can occur. Following centrifugation, the MycoDDR resuspension buffer C enables labs to obtain a clean and uniform sample pellet, and it also ensures the pellet will be in the appropriate pH range for the sensitive environments of all automated culture growth detection instruments. As we have seen, rigid pH control throughout the digestion decontamination process ensures the maximum amount of viable mycobacteria is recovered. Every bit of viable mycobacteria recovered has a direct impact on downstream tests. Smears are easier to read. Culture results on positives can be obtained one to seven days faster. There's a reduced risk of false negative culture results and an overall reduction in the number of samples that need to be reprocessed. It's time to redefine AFB processing, and it all starts with MycoDDR. DDR.